Hello, my gorgeous Taurians. Thank you so much for tuning into your September reading with me, Laurian. Absolute pleasure to bring you this reading for the month ahead. This is for Taurus Rising, Taurus Moon and Taurus Sun. If you are not sure what you are, I always recommend that you go to astro.com, fill in your birth details and they will actually tell you the aspects of your chart or go to an astrologer if you want more in-depth readings. I have one on my website, but if you are wanting just to know your moon and rising, just go there. Um, we are using the Earth Magic Oracle deck this month and the Druidcraft Tarot. This will be a general reading, as I say, but if you do want more personal guidance dedicated to you, the energies that you have this month, or any questions, go to the link below. It will take you directly to my readings page. And from there, you can choose anything, spirit guide, past life, card readings, numerology, that sort of thing. And I'll do my best to get back to you within the four working days, I think it is still. So still got a very quick turnaround for those of you who've already um, asked for a reading from me. So, without further ado, let's have a look and see what's coming through for you, my dear Taurus. So, we have got two eclipses this month. We've also got two full moons, sorry, two full moons, two new moons um, that's very important, I think, for releasing, letting go, getting rid of some things. Um, I mean, me personally, I do not like all these videos going, let it go. Because the message repeats all the time, let go. It's, I think it's more to do with release any troubles that the month has built up. I think that's better to say rather than let go. Just release because it's uh, that's easier, I think. I don't know why. Whoa. Jumpy cards. Okay, let's have a look and see. Wow. Okay. Ooh. Oh, I don't do reversals. There we go. Awesome. Ooh. Taurus. You've got a good reading. Doesn't that look so vibrant? And that blue as well. It's gorgeous. Now, it was sunny two minutes ago. Now it's gone dull. So, I'm apologising if it's a little bit dim light. Whoa, hang on. Oh. Okay, so you've got this one. <laughs> Who are these? Okay. This one. My word, Taurus. Jeez. Oh, okay. And you've got another one too, which is this one. <gasps> awesome. Okay. So, looks like you've got a little bit of complicated stuff going on. Oh, and this one's just fallen out. Dream time. Okay. Um. <laughs> right. Let's put these over there. Okay. I think we need to do this then. Maybe this is a new method that I can do for October. <laughs> okay, let's take a look and see. Because these four wanted to come out. Okay. I'm trying to get a message because they did give me a little bit. Okay. Family, very important this month. Family, 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 that's what they just said. Um. I do also feel that, contrary to some of the other readings I've done, it's more important for you to kind of be alone this month. Now when I say alone, I don't mean isolated, I don't mean stuck in a room somewhere crying or anything like that, but just kind of have your own time for half an hour a day. Recharge, get things done, um, don't lock yourself away. But it is going to be very important kind of for you to listen to your inner thoughts and listen to your inner being. Um, it's all about the balance. All about the balance that's coming through here. You are going to have an incredibly creative month ahead. Just take a look and see. This lady seems to be heralding a new time. She's in autumn. She's saying that you should actually take the rest you need. Also, I think she's also suggesting that the emotions may be settling down a little bit, maybe between you and a loved one or a family member or something like that. But she seems to be more indicating the fact that your stubbornness, which I love, um, and also the tenacity that you have to problem solve, that's going to be, you know, not as needed so much this month. It's just going to be blending in, I think. I feel also that her countenance 
does connect with the Vision Quest card because she's got almost, I mean, over water, she's almost scrying, but she's got her eyes closed. Very connected, listening to the elements. Here, Vision Quest is much the same. You listen to the elements, you go within yourself, you identify maybe in meditation or just kind of shamanic journeying, just kind of what you need to do, how you can centre yourself, how you can be you know, where you want to be. And even as I'm closing my eyes right now and trying to, you know, feel where it is I need to be, I'm kind of saying, well, they're telling me, I think they're having a bit of a joke. They're saying, you just need to get the videos done. <laughs> but I think that they're going to be, you know, telling you different things and seeing what it is you need to do in a more complete way this month. If you just take some time alone, listen to yourself, your body, see what it's saying to you and then you can actually move forwards because here the ten of pentacles and Gaia here which is nurturing and the earth and everything I feel this is nurturing your family your loved ones your environment most of all make sure that you spend time in the security of your home or see if you can actually change a few things that make your home feel more like you I'm a stickler I love to say that you can either change your home enough to make it to, to, so you can start to feel how you want to feel or how you feel can actually go out into your home so for instance if you feel really clean and tidy and your house is a mess then it's not adding up but I also feel this is something about the time spent with family they are giving me a spinning clock and the fact that you need maybe some time with your family too this month um, if you don't like your family, I'm sorry. Um, maybe you can have a family of friends around you or just something that you consider where you're not alone. If, so for some people, it's just going to a park and talking to the trees. Literally that simple. Um, but I think that this is something that just says nurture yourself, get amongst your similar people, be very close and connected and nurture that human interaction as well as that solitude that maybe you need. Oh, so we have a new beginning and we have also a full moon. Now, completion often happens on a full moon. I feel that this is something like conception as well. Um, that can also happen on a full moon because we have the um, little bit of the Ace of Wands here, which can be the conception of a new idea as well. In the background, I think we've got mainly a waning moon, but I would say that this is necessary to kind of inject a little bit of fire in whatever it is you need to do. In order to complete some projects, in order to get to the end of something, maybe you need to kind of have a little introspective, make a plan. Ooh, they're showing me a lot of charts, diaries, lists, to-do lists, organisation. Don't let things stress you because this is happening very strongly. It's, a, it's a, an eclipse that's coming through. I feel it's going to enable you to kind of see the benefit. This, I feel, is the new moon energy because the new moon and the sun are out at the same time. Yeah, basically whatever you start at the beginning of the month, it's going to reach completion around the full moon. But I also feel it's going to re get regenerated by the month's end. So, your ideas are going to be validated. That's what they just told me. Your ideas are going to be validated. Oh, and as if on cue, we have creation and the Prince of Pentacles. So... I think that you may be a little bit defensive this month, possibly, um, but you've got this kind of magic behind you. And I also feel that you are just prepared to go into the unknown. Creation, I think, is just allow yourself to play, allow yourself to be exploration. You know, if you go to the park when you're young and you run around and you look for trees and you hide there and everywhere, you don't tend to do that when you're older because you kind of think of it as childish, but I love to explore still. And I love to go around little nooks and crannies and go, ooh, what's in here? And ooh, this is fascinating. And find certain things. And that in itself allows you to create. If you need to take a walk, if you need to do something just to stimulate creativity, try and do that. Because I think this is your day job. To be kind of a certain way. And this is how you should be. This is your playtime. This is your dream time. You can allow yourself to think outside the box. Your job may be the most boring thing ever for those of you who think that oh god again but there's a, a chance to kind of inject a little bit of fun in there and to inject a little bit of your own ideas and personality into that and I think that's coming through very strongly for you I've never actually tried this 
<laughs> this method before, um, but they seem to like it. So I may do it again. It depends if another four cards want to come up for anybody else. Um, but Taurus, it does seem to be a very productive month for you. Very family and you oriented. It seems that you are going to get things that you need this month more importantly but do let me know how it goes if you have any questions i'm on twitter and facebook the links are all down below you can message me there or you can email me again for readings just click the link below i can do that for you as soon as possible um but yeah it seems like it's coming through very positively for you and if you'd like to support me on patreon as well that link is below but i'm really looking forward to see what october brings i'm hoping fingers crossed <laughs> that is something really good for you and um, I do believe that you're going to get the benefit of what September and Mercury retrograde bring for you. Let me know how it goes again, take care of yourselves, much love to all of you Tauruses and speak soon.